Hello, welcome to the Human Integrated Performance Kitchen. My name is Nick and this is... I'm Kelsey, I'm a registered dietitian and today we're going to be showing you how to make my Back to Basics recovery smoothie. Awesome. So Kelsey, when, when would we use, or as an athlete, when would we, would we use this Back to Basics recovery drink? Um, so typically after um, you're training hard or you're doing an exercise, you want to get your carbohydrates and your proteins in within the first half an hour after you exercise. So that's a great time to kind of throw this smoothie together in so, the... So does this matter if it's after a workout or after competition? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. It's good Just as long them. as it's within yeah. about 30 minutes after that physical activity, that yeah. high intensity physical activity, we want to be doing some of this. Yeah, exactly. Well, fantastic. So what, what do we all have here for our... What are our ingredients for the, for the smoothie? Yeah, so I called it the back to basics smoothie because typically after you're like training really hard, you're probably going to be tired. You won't want to think too much about what you're going to be doing. Um, in terms of making your smoothie. So it's so simple. We have a banana, one cup of chocolate milk, um, half a cup of low fat Greek yogurt, and some frozen strawberries. Now, can you taste the yogurt when we have this? No. Because I'm, I'm not a big yogurt fan. So, okay, no, so we it's said, fine. So we said half a cup of strawberries, strawberries frozen strawberries. Frozen strawberries. Yep. Okay, what's next? Uh, a banana. A banana? Yep. Perfect. Whole banana? Yep, whole banana. And after the banana, we have um, mm. chocolate milk, I guess, or the yogurt, whichever. There's yogurt. Here. Yeah, why don't you throw the yogurt in sure. there? Okay, close enough. And just regular chocolate milk? Um, yeah, this is one percent chocolate milk. We we're having a discussion earlier that maybe our blender is a little too big for all of this in one batch, but we thought we'd try it. All right, so we have strawberries, milk, chocolate milk, and some yogurt, and that, that's it. And banana, yep, that's it. No protein Four powder, no whey powder, nothing like nothing. that. Nothing. And this yep. has everything we need for our recovery. It'll give you mm. everything you need. It has 22 grams of protein and about 67 grams of carbohydrate, so wow. perfect. That's fantastic. All right, well, here we go. consistency too like if you find it's too thick you could always add some water in there or if it's too runny just throw in some ice cubes that'll now would it be a good idea to throw any more milk in there or is there a reason why we wouldn't do that um i mean you want to make sure that you have room like for future meals like to get adequate nutrients so you don't want to fill up too much um it, it really depends on your diet plan as well though if you need more protein if that's what your dietitian or whoever's planning your meals has suggested for you you could certainly do that well that, that brings up a great point so one of the, even as we were preparing for this one of the questions i sort of had was all right, well how do we know how much of this smoothie mm -hmm. we should actually be having so what we're obviously going to be sharing yep. this portion but is this sort of the, the portion we have in here is that sort of the general portion for one person yeah so this would be for one portion so i kind of created the nutrient content of it based on what one person would need in general after um, physical activity, so. Well, let's give it a try. Awesome. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I, I'm on the lie, I was a little bit worried about the yogurt, but you can't taste yeah, the yogurt at well. At you all. can't, no. It just basically, it's it's plain yogurt, so it just adds pretty much just protein, a lot of protein, some calories. So. I, and I'm not a big fan of usually chocolate and banana together, but this is uh, this is actually, it's not too strong at all, so it's no, really quite yeah, enjoyable. It's good. Definitely. And the bananas, or the uh, strawberries add a bit of sweetness to it as well, for sure. So. Now, you know, one of the things I've heard when, when you know, in general research are talking about nutrition is that a lot of times, you know, Smoothies should be a supplement; they shouldn't be a replacement. So, is that mm -hmm. is that true, or where sort of where do things stand on that? Um, it depends on your meal plan. Supplement or smoothies can be either like a supplement to a meal, or they could be a meal replacement. It all depends on your needs. Um, so, it's something definitely to talk to with a registered dietitian. To she can help you kind of plan that out for you, find out what works best for you. So. Perfect. If you have any questions, be sure to you know tag us on social media, send us an email. We're always happy to answer any questions you might have. And as always, have a have a great day.